technology is a mixture of AI layers. So we have facial recognition, we have object detection, image classification, text detection, text recognition, and some more triggering processes, which we have a hierarchy in where we have like hundreds of models running at the same time, but we have a hierarchy in understanding content and triggering the proper uh, models. So I would say our technology is a lot of layers of AI working at the same time, unified AI, we, what we call, yeah, I would call it strong AI. This came out of the need of the customers. This is, this is what the customers, this is what the market wants. They want strong AI. Strong AI is what's called something that looks like more a human being, like an artificial intelligence system that really can understand the context can react to different variations of the of the environment. So it's kind of a very intelligent machine. Where do you think the most innovative part is? Is in the orchestration? Is in the individual algorithms? Uh, well, I would say it's orchestration, but the algorithms are very important too because we used a lot of, we went through a lot of papers, a lot of code out there, but we had to optimize the performance of the algorithms too. On top of that, I would say that's important. The algorithms are important, but the orchestrating of all of this is very important and the triggering mechanisms on which models to run in which place. Like we have a special technology, a triggering technology. We're imitating the human mind and like, we're not running a lot of models at the same time. We have a lot of models in the memory, but we're running only the specific models based on content. So that's, that's a huge, benefit how we're able to run hundreds of models at the same time. Where are the secret problems? Where are the most challenging things? So I'm thinking of, you know, like the data, the tagging, the yeah. training, yeah. Uh, or, you know, like orchestrating the production environment, the quality control. Where is the most painful thing in your deployment of technology? The most painful part of our technology is accuracy. So getting to a certain accuracy, and then the hardware needed, that's the GPUs, because not every environment is suitable to run training and predictions. So you need a very powerful system and only AWS and Google Cloud is good enough. What I see, I haven't tried Azure. I don't want to give brand names right out, but it's that's another part of it. But getting to an accuracy and understanding the cutoffs like when you're doing training, to understand, you have to understand how the models look to the life itself. You have to, because you don't know if, when you're doing a certain training, you could look at a chair or you could look, you could train a chair and you will not understand. You have to go back to the model and see how the models look at each image, record what the accuracies are. No one knows the accuracies properly. So it's just, that's very hard to understand if, you know, if this model looks at, a chair, if it sees it at 80%, is it really a chair? What's the cutoff? It changes from data, it changes from the neural network you're using. So you have to be very careful in doing the training. That was the worst, biggest bottleneck we had. So we had to add extra layers on top of them to understand how the models themselves look at the world. It's like understanding how a person who works for you, what's their capability is.